Potion Dete. It's me, Ting Ting, here with the VFD. Or, yeah, actually, no, I'm not going to tell you what the VFD stands for. But today, we're going to be taking a look at this Top Fin 5.5 gallon tank. I don't know the exact name. I wasn't paying that close of attention. But it costs $23 for a 5 gallon. That's a pretty good deal. So, yeah, I'm opening the box right now. Uh, sorry for the bit of a low quality, shaky camera review style. But that's all I had time to do. Uh, yeah, I know that I've mentioned a whole bunch of uploads in my recent video. And that hasn't happened. So my apologies. I'll try. I made a promise that I couldn't keep. But yeah, I'll try to be uploading more. But it, it, dig, digging into this tank. Um, we've got two boxes. That's a box. That's a 10-gallon filter, even though it's a 5-gallon tank. So... That's good. Over filtering is always better than under filtering. And the instructions are a bit stuck to the box there. But yeah, this is going to be a saltwater tank and uh, a, on a budget saltwater tank because I don't have any money because I'm a student. And I don't have any money. But yeah, I had to set the camera down so I could pull the aquarium out of the box. Oh, you can see my shirt. Shirt reveal, guys. Shirt reveal. I'm wearing a green shirt. Yeah shirt reveal but um uh now i'm throwing all the junk back in the box because i threw the uh the tank out of the way and you can see behind there is a saltwater tank i didn't do a video of setting it up setting it up I, I actually don't know why but it's looking pretty good but as for this tank um this is gonna be my five gallon saltwater aquarium and it it's mainly to prove that you don't need a this super large budget that tank behind me there costs like uh, 80 bucks but looking here at this tank this is the whole setup right now this is the individual uh, little look at the 10 gallon filter there's a, a little th uh, it's a container type thing I'm not quite sure what it is I didn't read anything about it at all and now I'm digging out the filter itself that's the filter head that you screw onto the end in order for it to not suck up a fish and that was very specific, but uh, there's a thermometer. And looking at the filter itself, as soon as I t take the package packaging off, looking at the filter itself, it's a pretty standard filter. And uh, oh, the the thermometer that I've got in my hand here, standard thermometer. Uh, it's a mercury thermometer. There's not much you can say about thermometers other than they measure temperature. And then this is the filter head that you screw on to the end of the filter as soon as I open it. So yeah, you have the filter head and the little piece of foam that you put on the back of the filter so that it's up against the aquarium so that it doesn't scratch. But uh, yeah, that is the, uh, the lid that you take off and it's got a thing that measures the water level. Then you have the carbon filter bag that needs to be washed. And I have, oh, not yet, but um, now, you ha now I have the flow adjustment knob so you can adjust the flow, see if uh, how much flow your fishies like. And yeah, that's basically the overview of the filter. I really like the adjustment knob. It was very useful. But yeah, the end goes there, as you can see. Uh, very high tech, very high quality. Ooh, it's, it even spins around. And yeah, that pad goes on the back there so you don't scratch your aquarium glass. It's always useful. And then, yeah, it's a thermometer. Pretty basic. Looking into this box, uh, it's got a power cord with a standard United States wall outlet plug. Nothing special, a switch to turn your light on and off, as I demonstrate here. Oh, ooh, jump, inside here. This was inside the tank, and everything was like silicone to the glass, so I uh, undid all the silicone for you before I started the review. But moving the tank out of the way, inside this package that was at the bottom of the tank, We have a net, a black net, like maybe 10, 12 inches long, just a standard net, you know. And then we have the lid. There it is. Yep, a lid with the LED 
And, uh, oh yeah, I have to grab the cord here. There it is. So, this is the cord. And what you do is you plug one end of the cord into the other end. As you can see, I had a bit of trouble here, but that's okay because I was able to figure out in the end. And after you are able to make that connection, you just plug it into your wall. But you have a feeding, the standard feeding door, pretty standard as I demonstrate here. And then we have a nice cutout to place your filter in. Yes, yeah, it's a feeding door, we get it. Okay, so yeah, I made a bit of room for this five gallon tank on my desk. I just moved my 2.5 gallon to the side and it sits pretty comfortably there. So, what am I gonna do now? Oh yeah, I take uh, the filter and it's always smart to undo the cord so that the cord is longer. Yeah, uh, yeah, standard explanation. But, uh, oh yeah, make sure that you rinse out the carbon filter bag before you place it in your tank to get rid of any uh, unwanted dust. And I gave the thumbs up and I have trouble here <laughs> putting it putting it into the filter. It also comes with that blue filter guard thing. I don't know exactly what it's for. I suppose it's for like algae or something. So now I'm gonna install it on the side. Ooh, a golf, did you see that? It said golf, I play golf. It also says saints. Only a select few of you viewers will know what that means. But now I'm sliding it onto the back and it fits pretty well. So, yes, pretty standard. This is one of the most regular aquariums you can have. Thought about getting one with like the filter built into the back of the wall. But budget, am I, yeah, budget, am I right? So now if you uh, untie the cord here, it actually makes it longer as well. That applies to most all of them. So I will be doing this so that it can reach further and I don't have to bring the plug to the cord. I can bring the cord to the plug. I'm a genius, I know you don't have to say. So now I'm running the cord behind the tank. Yeah, yeah that'll take me a while. While I'm doing that, uh, I just want to say that new video, probably about my Kravitat, is coming out real shortly and part two to this one will be coming out after that and then a freshwater tank uh upgrade ooh yeah and make sure for this tank back to here you're going to want a heater i've got a standard heater rated for 5 gallons even though it's 5 and a half gallons but i think it'll be okay so what you'll do ooh asmr should i do asmr reviews i'm on to something asmr okay fine i'll stop sorry if that hurt your ears but I I have a lot of trouble suction cupping. Set of set of verb. I have a lot of trouble installing this heater on the back of my tank. You'll see throughout the video. It's quite awful, and I don't think I'll uh, link. I might link some of these things, but I won't be able to link others because I have no clue what they're called or where I bought them. I had that heater just lying around. It did not, it was not included with the tank. Disclaimer. Yeah, I, I just, <laughs> yeah. I don't like that here. I think it's not suctioned right now. Like, as of now, it's not suctioned. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to mess with it. Uh, during this time, I'll take a moment to talk about my two gallon. It's got a little uh, cleaner shrimp, as the store called it. And it's got some live rock that I bought from Petco. I don't know why I did that, but I did. And it's a pretty standard saltwater tank. But, yo, oh, yeah, I'm struggling hardcore. Any other heater? For the for the 2.5 gallon, I used a heater that goes under the sand. I don't know if that was smart or not. I have no clue what I'm doing. But I'm doing it anyways. You have to learn somehow. That's my philosophy. So I was able to, or I somewhat was able to reinstall 
the heater and now we're good we're good as you can see by my thumbs up of approval and now I'm gonna take the thermometer and suction cup it to the glass but then I realize you have to make the suction cup face the other way so that you can read the thermometer from the glass I, I recommend doing this so that you can read your thermometer it's it's real hard to talk about thermometers everyone knows what a thermometer does but yeah a thermometer installed the heater looks like it's still going good yep yep and now it's sand time you saw a reflection of my head on the glass but yeah it's sand time time for sand so what do you what do you, what you want to do is take the hood off it would but if you're stupid like me then you put the hood so that it blocks the view I'm an I'm a real idiot aren't I but anywho the I poured the sand even though you can't see because the hood is in the way um, I've still poured it having trouble having a bit of trouble with the heater here now you now I'm smoothing it out uh, as you can see on the the lid there is oh look the heater popped off but the lid has an LED light it's it's a pretty strong light uh might grow coral I don't know corals aren't until way more down the road because I'm out of money but uh <laughs> well I'm not out of money I'm out of budget I have a budget for this and it's a very low budget but uh yeah Oh, sorry there. I had to take a quick pause to drink out of my hydro flask. Oh, now I'm mixing the water. Yeah, salt water. This took me <laughs> way too long. I don't want to say how long this took me. But it took me way too long, so that's why it's a time lapse. Yeah, this took way too long. I'm actually embarrassed to say how long this took. But while I'm wasting my time doing... Well, it's not wasting because you got to do it somewhere or somehow. But while I'm doing this, I'd like to say that I have... um. Everything changed, like everything has changed. Uh, new crab tanks. Uh, the If you've seen my video with 1,000 views on this channel, I don't know how that got 1,000 views, but it's got 1,000 views, and uh, it's of my Pictus catfish eating. He sadly passed away, and so did everything in that aquarium. Actually, they passed away a very long time ago, and I've completely restarted. I've got live plants, live not live driftwood, but real driftwood, and it's just completely changed. And I've got a 10 gallon going for some fish, planning on heavily planting that tank. And I've got this pink crayfish. It's interesting, I think it has ick, so I'm treating that separately right now. But, um, yeah, up to date. Basically, yeah, you're up to date now. But, uh, it's, watching this is so mesmerizing. Yeah, I'm almost done here. The heater, as you see, popped off. I hate that heater. I'm gonna, I'm gonna punch somebody because of that heater. That that heater caused somebody to be punched. I hope that heater is happy. But now it's done. It's the next day, and you can see me in the reflection. But yeah, the water cleared. It's looking good. The heater is not attached. <laughs> but yeah, the filter is flow. The filter is pretty strong, as we see. Uh, I adjust it and it's on fully so it can filter as much as possible. Man, that reflection is killer. Hopefully you can't see my face because that's supposed to be prep. Yep, there it is. There it is. That That is it. No, don't buy it. Don't buy it. Don't buy it. I'm not putting a link for that in the description. But, um, uh, yeah. We've got it going. Uh, I plan on coraling. Oh yeah, I, that divot is from the filter because it's so powerful and it, those black dots are uh, remnants of filter, the filter carbon. And taking a look here, this that's the cleaner shrimp. He's pretty cool, huh? Might be a sheet, I'm not certain. But this tank is probably going to get some corals as well. I haven't quite decided. Probably going to do some more research because I have no clue what I'm doing. But I've managed to keep him alive for a long time, so that's okay. I mean, that's good. And I'm, the rock, as you can see, that green rock, that, that was completely white when I bought it. So it's doing what it's supposed to do. It's doing what it is supposed to be doing. 
that it's a top-down view of my saltwater tank. And uh, yeah, pretty happy with how it turned out. Mostly because it's my first saltwater tank. Here, this is my Kravitz hat. The water level is like super low. It's ridiculously low. That's why the filter is making all the noises. But there's my purple vampire crab. He's got the yellow eyes. That's why they call him a vampire. Because he's like yellow eyes. And this is completely new terrarium. Got bamboo, a four. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, I need to take care of those flies. It's not looking too good now, but those are my two disco vampire crabs. That's all that I have in that tank. Um. Yeah, it needed maintenance, and I did the maintenance, and it looks good now. But at the time of this recording, it looked awful. Yeah, and um, this was I made this out of uh, foam. I mean, a styrofoam. So I was able to get really specific designs going, and I put a little uh, water pump there, so it creates like a waterfall of sorts, maybe a river. Some, but it looks real shady now. I did maintenance. I promise it looks good. I promise these crabs aren't being tortured. And this is my 30 gallon now. As you can see, it's a drastic difference. I have a uh, dwarf rainbow garami. I have two coolie loaches, a uh, striped Raphael catfish who always hides under the log. I swear, and he's blind in light. And that is my. Peacock eel. I blanked out on the name there. But that's him, and he hides under the gravel. He's like seven inches long, but he hides under the gravel, so you only see his face. That's one of the two loaches. Excuse the algae. It was, it was water change day. Yeah. And under there, if you can see, is the cat fish no you, you definitely can't see he's massive he's like six to seven inches i like dug out that log so we can hide under there and he's, he's just massive this is a 10 gallon that i just set up it's got five serpe tetras i don't know they look like barbs that does not look like a tetra that looks like a barb to me but i also have a quarry cat going in there and yeah that's basically it just an update of my tanks there's a quarry cat. Um, I'm planning on heavily planting this. This is just a temporary thing. Well, it's not temporary. Yeah, no, yeah, it's temporary. There's that little quarry. He's got the largest eyes I've ever seen on the planet. And this is the lobster that clearly that has ick, if you can see the white spots. So, oh, zoom, focus, focus, focus. The, yeah, is that, yeah, there it goes. And it's, you can see the white spots. It's got ick, so I'm treating it. But, yeah, that'll conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed, and I'm running out of time, so I'll see you next time.